Hello, my name is Thomas Osche. I'm product manager for high dose rate brachytherapy systems with Eckert and Siegler Bebig and MIG radionuclear instruments. It's my pleasure to present today the handling and assembly of the MIG Henschke applicator for the treatment of cervical cancer. It's mainly used for patients with small anatomies due to the straight design of the ovoid tubes. It allows for a pear-shaped dose distribution and has a flexible geometry. The set consists of three intrauterine tubes, a cervical stop and a corresponding urn wrench, a right ovoid tube, a left ovoid tube, the ovoids in 2, 2.5 and 3 cm and a rectal retractor. The smith sleeves are available as optional items. Let's start with the assembly. I select an intrauterine tube and fix the cervical stop. Now I select a 2 cm ovoid and fix it on the ovoid tube. The small pin helps finding the right orientation. The second ovoid is fixed on the left ovoid tube. The small pin also avoids rotation of the ovoid. Now the assembly is complete and we can start the insertion. The intrauterine tube is inserted first. For demonstration purposes I will do this without a cervix model. Now the right ovoid tube is inserted. and fixed on the IU tube with the upper front screw. Now the left ovoid tube is inserted and fixed with the lower front screw. Once the desired angle is defined, it can be locked into place with a third screw. Now the assembly is complete. In case the rectal retractor is used, it is simply guided over the IU tube and fixed with a side screw. The lower screw can be used to adjust the angle. In order to start the treatment, transfer tubes are needed. In case of Eckert and Siegler Babyk afterloaders, color coded transfer tubes are available. They are simply clicked on the tubes. Now the treatment can be started. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and saw how easy and flexible it is to assemble the MIG Henschke applicator. For more information, please visit mignuclear.com.